everyone this is an only disney stars productions i seriously cannot believe that i have not filmed a video in like over a year but i actually got a request and i actually decided to do it so i got a request from cherry banana layouts you can go ahead and check them out i will put a link down in the bottom bar so you guys can go check them out and they requested on um, how to make a sign like the one I have on my YouTube background. So that's basically what I'm going to be showing you guys today. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and open up my photo filter. And um, here, let me zoom you guys out so you can be able to see the screen a lot better. Um, so you can just take a clean canvas like this um, to get that. I'm actually going to be showing you. You're going to go to the left side of the page and you're going to click this little tab right here. Um, it's kind of like a new page. It's just like a blank page. So you can go ahead and click that. Then you're going to get a screen that looks just like this. And then you can definitely customize customize it to however you like. I'm just going to leave it 800 to, um, as a width and 600 as the height. But I'm actually going to change the resolution so it could be a lot more clear. I'm just going to change it to about 250, which is not too bad. And then the background, I just want it to be plain white. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then I'm just going to get a clean canvas like this. Right, so with this canvas, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to start off by working on the background and then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the text. And if you haven't seen what my background looks like on my channel, I'm actually going to be showing you that right now, which looks a little something like this. It's just kind of like the sun vector and the letters kind of like popping out, which is I think it's really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So first I'm going to um, click the little magic wand tool, then I'm going to select the blank page um, and then it's going to load and then you're going to right click stroke and fill and then you're going to fill it in with any pattern you want um, so you're just going to go fill pattern check the little fill pattern and open the little um, section right there then you can just click thumbnails and do something kind of simple today I'm just going to go ahead and do the rainbow and then you can do preview to see if that's what you like and if you like it you can leave it like that otherwise you can go ahead and click the little um, folder to open it and um, open up a new image or any background or pattern that you want and you can change the opacity by making it clear or very opaque I like mine's really opaque so um, I'm just gonna leave it like that and then I'm gonna click OK then since you can see that um, the little ants are still showing which means that the area is still selected I'm gonna go ahead and click on the photo mask right here this is a little tab right here that I'm talking about it says photo mask right here it's kind of like wavy paper and then you're going to click that and you're going to get um, this um, thing right here. I'm not really sure what it's called, this little window. You're going to click um, this and then you should have a vector. If you don't have a vector, you can um, download one off Photo Bucket. If you want, I can put a link on the bottom bar so you guys can um, not have a hard time finding a vector. I already have mine set there. So um, I'm just going to do the opacity. It's going to be 33 and I'm just going to do white because... Um, it's the most basic one then I'm just going to do blur and make sure you do stretch, ma stretch mask otherwise um, it's going to be a bunch of like patterns of masks and it's not going to look pretty so just put preview to make sure um, you can see um, how you like it I think I'm going to do a little bit more opaque because it's a little bit too dull and you can see the colors changing so that's a little bit better so I'm going to just click ok alright then I'm going to go ahead and start with the text. I'm going to do T for text, which is right here. And then I'm just going to do um, ODSP for only Disney Search Production. Um, you can click any text. I'm going to do something kind of cool. I guess I'll do that one. And then um, you can do your text however you want. Let's see how that looks. It's a little bit small. Here, let's do 200. I should have tested this out before so I don't waste time in your tutorial. Um, okay, I'll just do 160 and then I'll just leave it there. So I'm just going to do okay. Alright. Um, Alright, so double click and then I'm going to go transform to selection. And it's going to center it right there so you don't have to move it um, other unless you want to move it um, more up or more down. That's up to you. Then I'm going to go to selection, then expand. I'm going to go ahead and leave the width to 10 and it's going to expand my selection a little bit more. So I'm going to click OK. And then, it, as you can see, it's a little bit fatter. So you're going to go to Filter, Stylize, Progressive Contour. 
and then you're gonna do black outside or you can do however you want but this is how I'm doing it you want to preview make sure it's on blur because it's the prettiest effect if you do blur um, the diffuse looks kind of ugly I personally don't like it but you might like it so then you're gonna click OK then you can do right click stroke and fill no fill but you will you can do stroke um, I can do a stroke of like a teal and I'm gonna just do it pretty thick so I'm gonna do a four preview okay and then hide my selection which looks really cool I think um, and then I'm going to do T for text again and then I'm gonna do transform to selection don't move it unless you've already moved it and you can just um, right click stroke and fill and then you can select the pattern that you want for your um, letters inside let me go ahead and go with something more neutral I'm gonna go with this metal three and just do preview if you like it you can leave it if you don't like it you can change it I think I'm change it to the plaid I always like the plaid that one preview you know I'll just leave it there and then you can see how the rainbow is kind of popping out right here and then the plaid is like right there so you can just do okay and then um, you can unclick it and there you have it I mean there's so many other ways you can do this but this is kind of like the best basic way and the way I like the most so I totally hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to check out my new channel which I do beauty videos if you guys are interested you can um, click the link in the bottom bar which is youtube.com slash the makeup guru um, I have a link to that also I'll have a link to my Twitter if you guys want to follow me on Twitter you can go ahead and check that out and um, with yeah, and if you guys want to leave any requests, go ahead and leave them below, and I guess I can do more videos. I'm kind of starting in the mode of doing these types of videos because they're really fun. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Make sure to stay tuned in to watch more videos, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye!